and welcome to In the Kitchen with Pete. Today's simple and delicious recipe is pork tenderloin parmesan crusted sliders. They're delicious. I'll give you some keto options and I'll also show you how to flatten these things and store them in the freezer for future use. You're gonna love it. Let's get to it. I've got a pork tenderloin. I'm gonna slice them into about one inch pieces. The tapered ends I cut a little thicker so they all end up about the same size. On my counter I've placed some plastic wrap. Now I can put my pork pieces right on top of that. And I've got a Ziploc bag that I cut in half. And then I use a rubber mallet and just gently tap down until they become nice little flat medallions. It really takes no effort as the tenderloin is so tender. Now alternatively you can just slide the pork tenderloin right inside a Ziploc bag and tap them down to the desired size. I use this method just because it's easier to clean the half a bag as it's open and then I can reuse it again. And here's how easy it is to store. I'm using wax paper. I laid out three pieces and just roll them out on top of one another. And then I can simply pack them up in a Ziploc bag and store them for a later use. You could put two or three or four into a package, whatever works for you. It's really a handy way to do a quick meal as these thaw out very quickly. That's it. They're all ready to pop in the freezer. Now let's coat our pork tenderloin. For the wet mix we'll need two eggs well beaten. For the dry mix we'll need one cup of fresh grated parmesan, three quarters cup of Italian breadcrumbs. Alternatively for keto just switch that out with almond flour. Then we'll need some seasoning. The Cajun seasoning I'm using. One of my favorites is Slap Ya Mama. Alternatively, you could just use some salt and pepper. Then we'll add our fresh grated Parmesan cheese and give it all a good mix with a fork. Place the pork tenderloin medallions in the egg mixture and then simply bring it over to the dry mix and roll it and make sure it's completely covered pressing down gently so we get a nice coating on both sides. Now for the oven method simply pop these in the oven. I've got them on a cookie sheet and parchment paper 425 for 30 minutes flip halfway through we want an internal temperature of 145 to 150 Fahrenheit. But today I'm doing the pan fry method. Just enough peanut oil to cover the bottom of the pan. Alternatively for keto you could use coconut or olive oil. I placed a crumb in the bottom of the pan and it's sizzling so it's time to add our pork tenderloin medallions. They only take about two or three minutes per side. Make sure that they're pressed down firmly on the pan for even cooking. After two or three minutes, check them and make sure that they look nice and golden brown. And then just give them a flip and again we'll put them on for about another two to three minutes until both sides are golden brown. Right after flipping them, we'll add some mozzarella cheese. I had a nice fresh mozza ball and I just tore off some pieces and I'm going to place that right on top of each pork tenderloin medallion. Cover it, let it cook for about another two minutes until the cheese melts. And here it is. Oh my! 
Doesn't that look delicious? A quick read thermometer is the way to go here. Make sure the internal temperature is 145 to 150 Fahrenheit. Now look at these. You could serve these up as a meal just the way they are. Maybe a side of rice or salad. Trust me, they won't last long on a plate when you serve those up to guests. They're so tender, so juicy. They're terrific. Wrapped up in lettuce, I like to add a little hot sauce. I've got some nice fresh little slider buns from the bakery. I'll lay on top my pork medallions and a little bit of shredded lettuce, some sliced tomatoes, some thinly sliced onions. Now choose your favorite sauce. Maybe you just like some mayonnaise or maybe some sweet and spicy mustard. I'm just going to add a little bit of barbecue sauce to mine. Wouldn't your guests like to see a plate full of these come out to the table? Maybe I'll garnish these with a couple little pickles. Oh my, this is really looking delicious. Well, that was another simple and delicious recipe. And now I'm going to try the goods. Oh boy, look at that. Oh, oh my. So tender. A little bit of spice in there and that melted cheese, a little crusty outside. They're outstanding. Well, thanks for coming out and watching In the Kitchen with Pete. Until next time, see ya! When I'm easy.